Michelle Wolfert says she's been living with her daughter since shortly after they disappeared, jumping from home to home, finding people who would let the three stay with them. She says she was just doing what she thought was best for her daughters, but it was also against the law. On the run and in hiding for nearly a year and a half until a tip led police to come knocking on the door in this Pleasant Grove apartment 3.30 a.m. Sunday. You know, I just hugged him and told him everything would be okay. Michelle Wolfert's just out of jail tells me why she lived with her daughters, 16 year old Sydney and 15 year old Danielle, in secret when she had reported them missing to police. I feel like this amount of time was the only thing that would save them because they needed to have some peace. Peace, she says, from tough family situations. Their dad, Brian Wolferts, has custody of the girls. He lives in Kansas. The girls came to visit mom in the Orem area. She says they didn't want to leave and ran away. I just want them to be happy, secure, feel like they're listened to. In YouTube videos posted during their months spent missing, the girls said, Our dad is abusive and terrifying at times. He's constantly lying, and people believe his lies. Dad Brian said in an episode of Dr. Phil last year, that's Michelle, not the girls, talking. It's a 180. It's exactly the opposite of the actual situation. Police say they understand custodial situations can be difficult for everyone. I'm sure it's hard for them. You know, 15, 16 years old, you don't want to have to go through this. We just want to do what's best for them. What's best for them now, Lieutenant Craig Martinez said, is yet to be decided. They obviously have rights. Um, we would like them to voice those concerns to us. Right now, they won't say anything. But ultimately, he said, their job is to enforce the law, the one Wolferts reportedly broke, and that's return the girls to the parent who has custody. Lieutenant Martinez says the process of returning the girls could take weeks and that their father, Brian Wolferts, will most likely be working with DCFS to integrate them back into the home. Now, Michelle Wolferts does face misdemeanor charges, including custodial interference, housing assistance fraud, and filing a false report. In the newsroom, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.